Mythbusters was wrong. Hi everyone, I hope this night's finding you well. Now I know you're wondering, what are you talking about? Well, Mythbusters. It's a show right here in the United States. It's on Discovery Channel. Sometimes it's international. It's about two guys, three people, three assistants, and they basically try to bust myths, i.e. the name Mythbusters. Well, in the myth busting show, they try to go around and try to find myths and try to see if they're true or false or plausible or whatever, you know, and they that's what they do. 747 was this past week, can a 747 flip over a vehicle if the vehicle drove right behind the airplane? Yes, it definitely can, and they found out that very quickly. Well, about two months ago, they did one about soda cans in cars. Now, I would have looked at that and went, yeah, it can. Well, they found out it's busted. You cannot do that. So I didn't think twice about it. Every once in a while when I go on trips, I get requests. Hey Angie, can you bring me over some cereal, Kool-Aid, ding-dongs, Twinkies, Ho-Hos, Yoo-Hoo's, or soda? And I'm like, yeah, not a problem. Well, this time I was going over to go grab Choppa and his friend and bring him back to the United States. Now I knew that I didn't have to bring anything back or bring o anything over for him because they're already coming over here. So uh, what I did was knowing that Miss Crit was just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Choppa's house, I grabbed two suitcases of Dr. Pepper and two bags of chips because I know Choppa likes the chips. And I put them into my suitcase. Well, I put the first one in and it fit fine. I put the second one in, it was not so fine. So I ended up taking out five Dr. Peppers. I drank one that leaving four. I put the Dr. Pepper um, cans on my seat, zipped up the suitcase and went and checked in my bag onto my plane. I went over there, had a great time, flew back and I was putting my stuff in my trunk and that's where I found out that Mythbusters was busted. Now. I opened up the trunk and I'm looking in and I'm like, what is all over my windshield and everything? I go open up the driver's side seat and it's everywhere. Droplets of thick syrup Dr. Pepper everywhere. All over my console, my brand new radio, my sheepskin covers, my windows, my moonroof, the fabric on the ceiling, it was everywhere, including on the floor. But when I looked over to the passenger seat, I noticed four cans, two of them were exploded, and I got nervous, because it was a hot day that day, I mean hot, it was around 90 degrees. Why were two exploded and the two others were not? So I opened up the passenger side. I saw some uh, airport workers over there spraying off this area and I said, hey, by the way, this is, I have some cans that are from, you know, Dr. Pepper and they look like they're about to explode. Can I throw them against this um, cement barrier and let them explode? And he's like, yeah, that'll be fun to watch. So I went and grabbed one and I threw it as hard as I could and it literally just went boom and exploded like fireworks. I went back and grabbed the second one and I barely got it out of my hand and it exploded in mid-air. That scared the shit out of me. I was that close from a can of explosion. Now, when I went over, I grabbed the cans, no big deal, I threw them away and they washed off the Dr. Pepper. All was good. I brought back these to show you what I have. This was the first one. Now, I could not tell you if it was sitting like this or if it was sitting like this what prevented or what made them explode. But if you notice, I can't even push down on that top. It is literally all my force and I still cannot push that part in. So that's a lot of power or heat or pressure that just bulged that up and then just exploded. Now the weird thing about it, if you look at my car, yeah, it was all over the windows and the console, but there was no liquid, like there was, it wasn't like somebody poured it out. It was gone. All it was were like dots everywhere of syrup. So it must have happened the day before or the day before that. But this one is not the one that scares me. I mean, granted, I'm, I'm sure it was sitting like this so it popped up and, you know, exploded outwards. This one is the one that really scared me. And this is exactly how it was 
with absolutely nothing in it. All of that is dried Dr. Pepper. Crazy. Mythbusters, I hate to tell you, you're busted. I'll see you the day after tomorrow's yesterday, guys. Bye.